Welcome everyone, Mega Masher is back, and in this video, we are going to be reviewing the wrestler of the Pokemon world, known as Halucha. Well, I mean, you know what, you could say that there's quite a few Pokemon that could be very well passed off as wrestlers, like Machamp, Sock, Throw, Hariyama, just to name a few. But Halucha is very special, due to the fact that not only is its design fucking amazing, because of the fact that it's a fighting flying type, which is also amazing, because that type combination has never been done before, but also, and especially thanks to the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Move Tutor, this thing is now more of a threat. So this thing should not be underestimated under any circumstance, because it is going to sweep you up like a very angry janitor in battle. So... With that being said, let's jump right into this wild ride on the Mega Express towards Halucha. Now just take a look at this. This has got to be one of the most awesome designs in the history of Pokemon. I mean, I'm a huge wrestling fan, and this right here is like the coup de gras. Because, like, I love wrestling, I love Pokemon, and... When it comes to Halucha, you get the best of both worlds. So, as I alluded to earlier, the type combination that it has, fighting and flying. With that, you do have some weaknesses that you need to take note of. Most notably, you are weak to flying, electric, psychic, ice, and fairy. Yes, those are five very common offensive types used in battle, so you need to watch your ass. However, and this is a big however, you do have an immunity to ground, you have a resistance to fighting, grass, and dark, and a four times resistance to bug. So, that's actually pretty solid. Uh, you do have ways of switching in, and switching in pretty safely. Now, as for its abilities, the first one it gets, and in my opinion, the best ability for Halucha, is Unburden. And what Unburden does is, should you consume or lose your item in any way, shape, or form, your speed doubles. Yes. Just think about that for a second. That means that should you have your item knocked off, that's not all that bad. That means, well, now your speed is double and you have that much more sweeping potential. So Unburden definitely is the best of the three abilities it has, but I'm going to go over the other two. The next ability that it has is Limber, and what Limber does is it prevents you from suffering from paralysis, which, I mean, it's an okay ability by itself, but compared to Unburden... It's not a good ability, competitively. And the last ability, its hidden ability is known as Mold Breaker. Now, Mold Breaker is actually one of my favorite abilities. And this right here is a solid ability due to the fact that it ignores any abilities that would otherwise impede the progress of your moves. So, say for example, if you're up against a Pokemon with, say, the Sturdy ability. And what Sturdy normally does is it protects you from being one hit KO'd from any move, well with Mold Breaker, it's like, fuck you, Sturdy, you're getting one shot at anyways, so, bye bye, Sturdy, and say if you have Earthquake and you're up against a Pokemon with Levitate, well, guess what, sorry, Gengar, your ground weakness is coming back to haunt you, baby, but, like I said, in comparison, Unburden is your absolute best ability to have. Now, as for its stats, you can see right here, like, it has a really interesting stat layout. So, it has 78 HP, 92 attack, 75 defense, 74 special attack, 63 special defense, and 118 on the speed. So, taking a look at the stats, its attack is okay at base 92. It's not the highest, but there are ways to set up for victory when it comes to your physical attack. And its bulk is pretty decent for a uh, physical sweeper being 78 75 and 63 the 63 in the special defense is something that you might want to watch out for but the funny thing is i happen to have a specially defensive halucha set that could actually work out quite nicely and taking a look at that base 118 speed just think about that for a second if you were to run unburdened you wouldn't even have to max out your speed to have over 300 speed, and when Unburden activates, you have over 600, uh, outpacing every single viable Scarfer that there is in battle. So, 
you could run the rest of your EVs into your HP to give you some really good overall bulk and some more staying power in battle. So, with all that being said, how about we move on to the first set? So, with this first set here, it spells awesome and anti meta right all over it because of the fact that it's something that you do not ever expect on a Halucha, and right there you have a potential advantage due to the fact that there's that surprise factor, but it might not always work out for you. But anyways, more often than not, the surprise factor is always good. So as for the item of choice, we have a few here. We have Citrus Berry to allow you to have 25% of your health healed when you're at a fourth of your health or below. You can go with Lumberry as a one-time status healer, or you can go with Apricot Berry as a way to up your special defense by one stage in a pinch when you're at 25% or below of your health. Now, all three of these items go very nicely with Unburdened due to the fact that these are consumable items, and when you consume or lose your item, that's when un Unburdened activates, and you're just that much more annoying and more threatening. Now, the reason why I select Apricot Berry is because it's a way to uh, potentially boost your special defense since you have no way of boosting your special defense in terms of your move set. The best way in this situation would be to maximize your EV spread in HP special defense and run a careful nature, which happens to be the nature that we're using. So as for the EV spread, like I said, it'll be 252 into its HP, 252 into its special defense, four into speed just to have one more speed point, and we'll go with the careful nature to further boost your special defense. Now as for the first move, we have Bulk Up. Bulk Up is a great move, especially for a set like this, due to the fact that you raise your attack and defense by one stage. So after you get a couple of Bulk Up boosts under the belt, you're going to be exceptionally difficult to take down. So as for the next move, you can either go with Substitute to protect you from any status moves that would otherwise screw this set over big time, or, you know what, if you're not worried about being status and you want some reliable, immediate ways of recovery, you can go with Roost. But my recommendation would be Substitute. However, Roost is an option. The next move that we have is Acrobatics. And what this does, it's a base 55 flying type move on the physical side. However, if you do not hold an item, it's base 110. So... After a couple bulk up boosts and say you lose or consume your item, Acrobat is going to be hurting like a bitch. That's going to be insane. And if that isn't insane enough, then get a load of this. The last move set is Drain Punch. It gets fucking Drain Punch. Drain Punch is a base 75 power fighting type move on the physical side that heals up your Pokemon. Now, especially if you land a critical hit, Half the damage that you inflict is turned into health regain. That's insane. So after a couple bulk up boosts, you're going to be having relatively hard drain punches. Which means you're going to be gaining back a shit ton of health. You're going to have unbreakable substitutes. And if you decide to be a little bit ballsy and run Apricot Berry, you're going to be tough to break down on the special side too. So, you know what? This set has a lot of potential. I recommend you guys try this shit out. So this move set here is, it has the word threatening all over it, and this is how it's done. So the item for choice for Halucha is going to be Power Herb. Power Herb allows for you to bypass wasting a turn, charging up for Sky Attack, and you can just go for it right away. And the good thing about Power Herb is it's a consumable item, and once you consume that, Unburden activates and you have double the speed. And speaking of Unburden, that happens to be the ability for choice. Now as for the EV spread, I took a little bit more of a bulky approach. I put 132 into HP, 252 into attack, and 124 into speed. And we'll be going with an adamant nature to further boost your attack. Now the reason for the 124 speed EVs is the fact that you have 303 speed at level 100. But when Unburden activates, that doubles. Therefore, if you're up against a Jolly Sandrush Excadrill under the effects of Sandstorm, you will actually be able to outspeed it. And that is, I believe, the fastest threat in the OU metagame with all that shit going down. And that's not good. 
So Paucha basically is a very good check to Excadrill. I say check because this thing will not take Ironhead too nicely from a base 135 physical attack and due to the fact that it's stabbed too. So you really got to watch your butt on that one. So as for the first move, of course we'll be using Sky Attack. Sky Attack is a base 140, 90% accuracy physical move on the flying type, and that is insane. Now, it's a two-turn move. The first turn, you have to charge up. The second turn, you use Sky Attack. But with Power Herb, you don't have to worry about that. You can just use Sky Attack right away and fuck shit up. But if that isn't good enough, then you can go with the second move, that being High Jump Kick, a base 130 fighting type move on the physical side with a pretty bad drawback. It has base 90 accuracy, but that's not even what the bad thing is. If you were to miss or use this move while someone is using Protect, you lose half your health. Yeah, that's not good. But this move is a high risk, high reward. So the next move that we have, we will go with Swords Dance. And what Swords Dance does is it boosts your attack by two stages. So think about it. Halucha has over 300 attack in this EV spread. With Swords Dance, you have over 600. With the activation of Unburden, you have over 600 in this speed. Wow. Talk about major, major stat buffing. Holy shit. So as for the last move slot, it's really up to you. You can go with Drain Punch as secondary stab and more reliable and actually more beneficial due to the fact that you're able to heal yourself depending on the amount of damage that you cause. And with a couple Swords Dance boosts, you're going to be getting back quite a bit of HP. But if you want more reliable flying type coverage or a really reliable flying type move, go with Acrobatics because once you consume your Power Herb, you're probably not going to want to waste your time using Sky Attack and risk losing Halucha. But with Acrobatics, you can just fire off base 110 power flying type moves. <laughs> just completely ripping shit up. But if you want more coverage, you can go with Fire Punch. If you want more coverage in the electric type, then you can go with Thunder Punch, because we got a lot of them Gyarados running around. They're quite threatening. But if you don't like the idea of running into fairies, guess what? We got Poison Jab, and we also have Iron Head as another way to deal with fairies. But if you want to be even more crazier and deal with the likes of Tornadus and Thunderous and any other flying types that are really threatening, then you can go with Stone Edge. Stone Edge hits hard and it hits very nicely. It has a high critical hit ratio, which is also very nice. Base 80 accuracy, maybe not so much because there's a chance to miss, but that's okay because like high jump kick, it's high risk, high reward. You have to be willing to risk sometimes if you want to win battles. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this awesome video on how to use Halucha and how it is scary threatening, especially if it's underestimated. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and even share this video and this channel to all your friends. It really helps out a lot. If you want to see more videos like the one that you just saw, then feel free to hit up that subscribe button to join the Mega Express today to become a valued passenger. Also, be sure to leave me your feedback about this video in the comments section down below. Tell me what you liked about it. Tell me what you didn't like about it. Tell me what you would like to see in future uploads. Also, be sure to check out Poketown and Cat's Epic Pokemon Cloning Group, which are two groups on Facebook that you guys must absolutely check out. You would be a fool to miss out on this opportunity. I will leave links in the description box down below. So have a nice day, and I shall see you guys next upload.